Okay. You know Pascal's wager, right? The idea that there may or may not be a God, and you may or may not do God's word, and if there is a God and you do God's word, you get infinite reward, and if there is a God and you do not do God's word, you get infinite punishment. And then the other options basically being you get meh. So the idea is that you're dealing with infinite reward slash punishment versus meh. So the answer is you should definitely follow God's word because God definitely exists. And then thinking of Pascal's wager. Have you noticed that sometimes people use a scenario much like it to attempt to manipulate other people? I've become aware of a few of these, where someone will say, Hey, if you don't do what I want, then a revolution may be coming. And if the revolution comes, it's very bad for you. And if the revolution doesn't come, then eh. But really, if it does come, it's really bad. So you should definitely do what I want. And it's, I mean, this is sort of, that's kind of like what's being said. Because it's not like if a revolution comes. The thread is, there is a revolution coming. But you can't quite say it that way, because then you start taking personal responsibility for the revolution coming. So a lot of the people saying this, they're specifically making it kind of vague. There may be a future A that is really bad slash good for you. Therefore, give me a present A that is good for me. And it's always sort of this notion of you threaten the present with a potential future and you use these axioms, these sort of indefinite potential outcomes that are very specific, like plus or minus, and you kind of appeal to a higher power. It's never, if you don't give me what I want, I'm going to punch you, because that's the kind of threat that people can respond to, and this is the very traditional threat. But it's the sort of threat where, if you don't give me money, Maybe karma will spite you. And it's this, like, me getting rid of personal responsibility while making a threat to you, implying that it's your fault because you're now aware of these potential outcomes. Me requiring this higher power to sort of carry out this threat. And it's all set in the future. But it's expecting a demand today. And I don't know if this is a new thing, but I do find it fascinating because it's so passive-aggressive, and yet people who use it... I mean, there's been some big political speeches, essentially, with some pretty severe threats behind them, kind of backed in this passive-aggressive way, that now, 8, 10, 15 years later, have absolutely not come to fruition. And it's just, people are kind of neat, you know, with, with some of their weird ideas. But it occurs to me, you know, just thinking about it, we're just Pascal's wagering our fellow man. And rather than using God, though sometimes we do use God, God will punish you if you don't do this, blah, blah, blah. But rather than using God, definitely using God, I guess I should say, we just sort of use this idea that the universe is on our side. So despite throwing away all responsibility, putting it on your shoulders, throw, you know, despite throwing away all definiteness and putting it on the, the whims of the future, what we're really saying is, I'm right, you're wrong, and you know it, so you can't risk keeping it up.